Hi, it's Chris from Greensphere, and I was laying in bed middle of the night last night thinking all these people that are awake in our area thinking about moss. Why do I have so much moss in my lawn this year? And I said, you know what, I got to do something about this. I got to make a video. So that's what I'm doing today. We're going to talk about moss and what the causes are and what to do about it. So this year, this is now early um, spring of 2020. We are seeing a lot more moss this year than we have in the past. And while we don't know the exact reason why, it definitely has to do with the winter conditions we have. We had very little snow, a lot of freeze thaw, moderate temperatures, and talking with other industry experts, it's you know th this has just created the perfect conditions for moss to take off. So take this lawn, for example. Last fall, a little bit of moss, but this year it is basically spread throughout this entire area. So whenever we have a client that wants to know what to do about the moss, we have to go out and take a look at it, obviously, and determine a few things. First thing we have to look at is do a soil test. That's a, an automatic with any time we have a moss situation. Soil test is gonna tell us what the pH of the soil is and how acidic it is. From that, we can come up with a lime plan and you know maybe some other soil amendments that are needed based on that soil test. But simply just applying lime or the soil amendments is not gonna get rid of moss. Moss is also caused by environmental or cultural issues. And what I mean by that is drainage, shade, and lack of airflow. So drainage is, is pretty obvious. Does the ground stay wet in there? It's probably gonna stay wet because of lack of airflow and shade. So these things all work together to, to create the moss. So when you've got a lot of trees overhead, like this. These will all be filling in over the next couple of weeks and this area is gonna be very, very shady. Additionally, this area has trees around about three quarters of it. Got a shed and then we've got the house. All of these things are gonna impede the airflow. So shade's an issue, but lack of airflow is a bigger issue as well. You mix all these combinations together, you've got acidic soil to begin with, we're gonna see an outbreak of moss. So we need to look at all of these factors and come up with a plan. Just uh, again, applying lime is not gonna take care of the issue. Even if you apply something like a, uh, a product from like a Home Depot that gets claims to get rid of moss, it's gonna kill the moss, but it's not gonna get rid of it. Now you're just gonna have dead moss there. The only way to effectively remove moss is to rake it up. So getting it completely cleaned out, then you can do something like a slice seed, an aeration over seed to get new grass growing back in. But if you don't deal with the trees, all the money you put into your lawn is gonna be wasted. You need to deal with the environmental issues if you ultimately wanna get rid of the moss. So it's a multi-step process. Again, lime is only gonna be one piece of it. So hopefully you found this information informative. If so, please like our page or excuse me, subscribe to our page so you don't miss any of my witty comments, my insights, all the reasons you keep coming back for more. So I uh, appreciate it very much if you subscribe and if you have any questions about moss, lime, really anything that affects your lawn or landscape, please give us a call.